Welcome back. I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA. And in this episode, we'll speak to camera enthusiasts about two vital aspects of the Canon EOS R camera. It's electronic viewfinder and it's dual pixel CMOS autofocus system. Especially if you've used EOS digital SLRs with optical viewfinders up to this time, there are some excellent features we'd like to introduce you to. We'll look at the electronic viewfinder first. This is a very high resolution OLED type electronic finder with 3.69 million dot resolution. And you'll note it's very easy to see out to the edges, even if you're wearing glasses. The electronic viewfinder brings some new features if you've used DSLRs up to now. There's more information, including the option to display a lens focus distance scale with Canon RF lenses. Excellent viewing in extreme low light conditions. The ability to see the effect of changes to camera settings, including white balance, color, contrast, and exposure. Focusing aids, which can make manual focus a very practical option in difficult shooting situations. The default operation is that a sensor detects when your face is near the camera and activates the viewfinder. Pull the camera away and it reverts to the LCD monitor. So it's easy to shoot and then review images on the LCD monitor. If you prefer, there's a menu setting to restrict viewing to just the viewfinder or LCD. An extensive range of viewfinder information can be displayed, or you can remove it entirely by pressing the Info button. This viewfinder information can change position automatically when you shoot vertically, too. Other information available in the finder include a histogram display to verify lighting and exposure before you take a picture. It can be a brightness or RGB histogram, and you can opt for it to be large or small in the finder and LCD monitor. And with Canon's dedicated RF lenses, you can display a focus distance scale in the finder or on the LCD monitor. Something we could never do with an optical viewfinder was magnify the scene to confirm focus or other details before a picture is taken. With the EOS R, whether you're set for autofocus or manual focus, just press the AF point button on the back and then turn the main dial to magnify the area around your active AF points either five times or 10 times. Turn again to revert to a full screen view. Three superb new viewfinder aids may make manual focus a practical option for some EOS R users. First, there's manual focus peaking, which highlights the sharpest areas of a scene with a red, yellow, or blue colored outline. Even in dim light or with wide angle lenses, it can make manual focus a quick proposition. There's also the same focus assist that we've seen in recent cinema EOS cameras, Lines on an icon move to indicate not only when you're sharp, but in what direction to adjust manual focus. And with the electronic manual focusing on Canon RF lenses, yet another option is available in the AF menu, magnify after one shot AF. Focus on a subject using AF, and then just turn the lens's manual focusing ring. A magnified view immediately appears, letting you precisely fine-tune focus manually. There are several ways to conserve battery power with the electronic viewfinder. One is to adjust the power off timers in the menu. There are separate entries for the time before the LCD monitor and viewfinder shut off, and the overall power off for the entire camera. And there's another entry for display performance, the smooth setting gives you a faster refresh rate, but you can save some power, especially if you're not rapidly moving the camera with the power saving option. Autofocus with the EOS R brings over many of the controls you're familiar with in earlier EOS DSLRs, but there are some new features and differences too. First off, you're focusing off the actual imaging sensor with the dual pixel CMOS autofocus and not with a separate dedicated AF sensor. You can now focus over a much larger area of the scene. The EOS R's focus coverage with most Canon lenses extends to 88% of the width of the full frame image and 100% of its height. A single AF point can be manually moved 
to any of over 5,600 different locations, so you can control where you focus with tremendous precision. AF method in the Canon EOS R means the size of the active AF area you're using. Many advanced users prefer to start using one single point, and this can be moved around nearly the entire frame. Press the AF point button and then the info button and you can make a single AF point even smaller. Change the AF method by pressing the AF point button plus the small multi-function button and select from the choices that appear. Or you can customize the multi-function bar and slide your thumb to change AF method. You can do either with the camera at your eye. Face detection plus tracking is one of your choices and it can change how you photograph people, especially if you activate the separate eye detection feature in the AF menu area. Horizontal or vertical, just have a human face in the active AF area and the EOS R will highlight it. And eye detection AF will put sharpest focus on the eye nearest the camera. Don't think of this as a consumer level feature. If you photograph people, you need to give face detection and especially eye detection AF a try. There are other AF method options to expand the size of a single point or to change to larger zone AF options. With these, the EOS R focuses on the nearest subject within the zone, even with moving subjects in servo AF. Speaking of servo AF, the AF operation settings tell the focus system whether to lock focus on a stationary subject with one-shot AF or to expect movement and follow it with servo AF. Don't be confused by an adjacent menu option, continuous AF. This one keeps focus active whenever the camera is awake to save a little time when you pick it up and initially focus on a subject. Use servo to focus on moving subjects. A great feature carried over from EOS Digital SLRs is Orientation Linked AF Point. Pick an AF point location for horizontal shots and another for verticals. Now, when you rotate the camera, the active AF area will automatically change locations for you. Moving AF points is a critical aspect of using an AF system with such wide coverage. Our strong recommendation Learn the default methods first. Press the AF point button and then use the four-way cross keys to move the AF area where you want. You can speed things up by customizing the cross keys so that they directly move AF points without pressing the AF point button first. Two other options. Tap the touchscreen LCD to move an AF point or area or try the touch and drag AF to move an AF area with your thumb on the LCD monitor as you look through the eye level viewfinder. AF is normally activated via the shutter button or the AF on button, but six other controls on the EOS R can be customized to start AF. Finally, manual focus is really enhanced on the EOS R. We mentioned the manual focus aids in the viewfinder earlier in this episode, but beyond that, if you're using Canon RF lenses, you can change the direction of focus ring rotation with a menu selection and also change the sensitivity of the focus ring on those lenses. There's no question that the EOS R camera puts many new capabilities in the hands of the experienced photographer and it starts right where you look with its electronic viewfinder and from there, its AF system. There are lots of options and with a little practice, most users should find a combination that makes them feel at home. In the next couple of episodes, my colleague Brent Ramsey will discuss the video features of the Canon EOS R camera. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston.